Hello guys, a very common problem. What do you do if your DTF printer either spits out the film straight away or completely refuses to grab it? This problem is not just limited to DTF printers, it's an uh, inject printer problem in general. And if you know some teachers, you probably heard them cry and complain about not being able to print some transparencies for their kids. And um, so it's very common. Uh, here are some tips and tricks that you can do in order to solve this problem. So first of all, when your printer spits out the film, you can just try again by pressing this button. And your printer will try and uh, repeat the same print again. There is no need to turn the printer off and on. There is no need to go into software. There is no need to upgrade your firmware. Uh, there's no need to restart your AcroRip or do any of that stuff. All you need to do is keep on pressing this button until it works. If you look inside the paper feed, you will find two rubber wheels that do all the grabbing. The top one and the bottom one. First of all, you need to make sure that the bottom one can spin freely. Because sometimes it jams and it starts causing a lot of problems. These two wheels can suffer from two different problems. First of all, they tend to accumulate all the silicon coating powder from the DTF film, as well as the dust. Secondly, when the wheels are brand new, the rubber can sometimes be a little bit too hard and you need to soften it just a little bit. It will get much better over time. Thankfully, all of these problems can be solved by simply cleaning the wheels with some rubbing alcohol. Here's how it's done. Okay, so first of all, you need to send a small print job to the printer, but make sure there is no paper in, so that you get the paper error. Secondly, you need to grab a lint-free kitchen towel, apply a little bit of rubbing alcohol, Hold the towel like this and gently place it against the rubber wheel. Then press the paper feed button. And let the rubber wheel rotate under your paper towel. Repeat this process a couple of times. Then you can give the bottom wheel a good scrub. Make sure to rotate it with your finger. You can repeat this process until you start seeing improvements. Always feed one sheet of DTF film at a time. Keep it flat against the backrest and leave a small gap on the left hand side. If you have it a bit too tight, the film tends to warp a little bit and that causes jams and feeding issues. So, always leave a small gap. Some printers have a tendency to rotate the film this way as it feeds. It's a good idea to place a little clamp. It can be anything that you have lying around in order to stop the film from going that way. Another great tip is to grab a stack of regular office paper then you can put it sideways like this and then you can grab your DTF film and place it over the paper. The stack of office paper will support the film and that solves a lot of problems as well. Some DTF film can be very powdery and slippery before you insert your film into the printer, you can simply run your fingers along the bottom of the sheet and clean any excess powder. This helps a lot. You can also attach a small strip of masking tape to the right bottom side of your film.
something like this. You can then feed it this way around. The film will then go like this. If you're still stuck and nothing works for you, there is one last desperate thing that you can try. Press the paper feed button and spray hairspray onto this wheel. Give it a couple of coats and then leave it to dry for maybe 20 minutes. As a last resort, you may have to replace the rubber wheels. The replacements are very cheap, but the actual process of replacing them is quite tricky. I hope you found these tricks useful, and if you have more, please share them in the comments below.